Okay, so my family said that I can't cook, and I think that that's not right. So I'm going to make a three-course meal. Now, first, we need to prepare the dessert because that's going to be the one that takes the most time because we have to melt and freeze chocolate. So what we're going to do here is just cut a little slit in this cup here, about up to here. So this is going to be worms and dirt, but some won't actually have gummy worms in them. So I've made like just a little bit, so it's easy to rip this. But now we don't want any chocolate spilling out of here. So what we'll do is we'll just heat this guy up. And then for the top, we'll just fold like that. And now it's going to be easy to take the tape off when the chocolate is solid. All right, so now let's open up these baking milk dark chocolates. Okay. Nice. Alright, so now we'll grab this bowl here and just put it on top. I decided to put some milk chocolate in there as well. So yeah, they taste good. Hmm? Pretty good chocolate. Looking pretty good. Okay, so... The chocolate looks like it's melted. So, I'm just gonna put some in the cups. Four cups for everyone in the family. Okay. This looks like it's gonna take a while, so I'll just cut to when they're done. All right, so, I've put them in the freezer. I'm pretty sure there's three just down here. Yeah. They're looking like they're starting to go solid, so that's pretty good. That's cool. All right, so let's see how they're looking. I've done another layer on them. So these, these ones. If you're wondering why there's five, it's because I just wanted to do an extra one just in case one breaks. Those ones look like they're almost ready. Get the ice cream and Oreos into those ones. So yeah. All right, so it's time to put the ice cream in. I've let it go for a bit just to make it a little less solid so it's easier to get it in. Seems like that worked. Don't worry, I've washed my hands. Um, so yeah, we'll just fill the gu these guys for with ice cream and gummy worms. All right, time to blend these Oreos up. Nice. All right, so it's looking pretty good. We've got the Oreo slash soil on the top and the gummy worms sticking out of the top. Looks nice. All right, so they are ready. There's three in here. And two in here. Okay, so we're about to boil this water. And, of course, it needs a bit of salt in there. Okay, so I'm just going to spray some of this oil on here. Bacon has a lot of fat, so I don't want to put too much. All right now, over here, I'm just going to grab some bacon. I'm going to put four pieces on here. So, yeah. All right, so while some of the bacon is cooking, I decided I'd do the pasta. So, I've got these pieces of tagli tea. Let's just take this off. Take that top. Okay. Pop them in. Nice. Alright, so 
so now I'm just going to make the cream sauce for the pasta. I'm going to add a bit of cream in here. Pretty nice. And our pieces of parmesan. Get all of that extra parmesan in there because you can never have too much cheese. Okay, so secret tip for making pasta is when you're making your sauce, just add a ladle of the pasta mix in there. No piece of pasta in there, but just some of the watery stuff. Okay, so looks like the Parmesan cheese sauce is ready. So I'm just going to put that. And then that will be, be poured on our pasta when it's done. We're just going to cut the spaghetti up. This is for the starter. And we're just going to fry these up a bit in olive oil. And um, then top them off with cheese, bacon and avocado. Okay, so now... We're just going to fry these pieces of bread that we just cut. So what I'm going to do is put a bit of olive oil on the pan. And now I might just mix it right over there. I want all of those pieces of bread to get lots of that olive oil. Okay, so now I'm going to put all of the pieces of bread in and just let them fry. Okay, these guys didn't melt as much as I wanted them to, so I'm just gonna put them on the grill for a bit. Oh. Don't worry guys, this isn't plastic cheese. All right, so I've just put the bacon in the cheese sauce. By the way, the cheese sauce is ready. So, yeah. Now it's just time to serve. I've got these ready with the bacon and the avocado. That's going to be the starter and then the main and the final dessert. Okay, so now it's time to just mix the two sauces. I actually did this the wrong way, I've just realized. So, now I'm gonna put the cheese. Boom. Okay, time to mix the two together. Oh geez, this is gonna take a while. I'm just going to mix this up. I've decided the tongs are easier to use. Let's just get all of that sauce at the bottom you know, over the pasta. Nice. Okay, so, I know. Taste yours first. We've got new braces on today. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Just. Mm -hmm. How does it taste? It's yummy. What do you give it out of ten? The first one. Mm. Nine. Nine. Okay. I'm gonna try mine. Mmm. It's got an amazing crunch. Yeah. Avocado goes really nice with the bread. And so does the bacon. Probably meaning that I give it an um, 8.7. Shall I try it? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. The coriander and the avocado. Yeah. And the olive oil and mmm. Textures are great. Yeah. Delicious.
What do you give it out of 10? 9.5. 9.5. <laughs> Okay, so now it's time for the main course. Anu, you look like you want to eat, so <laughs> you can go first. Okay. Rate it. Mmm, it's really nice. I like the creaminess of it. Um, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 again. 9 out of 10 again. Straight 9 or 0.5 or something? 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to try it. It technically doesn't count because it's my own food, but... <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, as Anu said, very creamy. Um, yeah, it's got a lot of texture. The baking bacon is really well done. So that makes you know everything better. Um, and the chives go nice with the creamy pasta and the bacon. So I reckon I'll give it a nine point four. Okay, I'm going to have a taste. <coughs> mm. Mm, the pasta's done very nicely. It's not overcooked. Uh, I can taste the bacon and the cream, which is delicious. I love the creamy sauce. Um, and the chives go really nice. It gives a little bit of a refreshing flavour to it as well. Nice. Very what nice. Give it? I would say... 9.4. I quite like garlic in mine, which oh, maybe yes. love a nice extra ingredient. That was great. Okay. <laughs> okay, so now that all of these have set, I'm just going to try take one out. So you just have to do mm. that and then rip around the outside. It looks like it's working, so that's good. Oh my god, this looks so sick. Okay, yes, let's just, yeah, try to get that last bit off. Ooh. Yo, worms and dirt. And what I'm going to do is put a bit of cocoa powder on the side because um, I think that will look, make it look more like it's an actual pot. Okay, so I've just decided I'm gonna put the cocoa powder on now. Oh yeah, making it look like a dirty pot. That's actually making the pot look so realistic. I'm just gonna sprinkle a bit more on. Now let's do that for all of them. All right, my hands look dirty as hell. They're covered in cocoa powder, but these look like they're dirty as hell. So yeah, that's what I want. So I'm just going to poke a hole in there. If you're wondering what the hole is for, it's for these. So these guys are gonna be our little saplingy tree thingies that looks so cool so that's these are pretty much just decorations you're not actually gonna eat these so when it starts i'll probably remove them or you can just stuff them in your mouth because you know it's coriander it's nothing poisonous all right i'm just gonna poke those holes in for everyone. Geez, that one has a lot of Oreo on the top. Okay, I'm just gonna try, oh, oh. Eh. Okay. This little tree, guys, looks so good. 
One more to go. Boop. Let's go. Okay, so it's all ready. And now all we need to do is eat it. So, Anu, you go first. Okay, I'm gonna take your yeah, little Yeah, take the plant out. It is edible, but... How do I get the chocolate? Maria. Okay. Mm. Now have everything together, like, try like grind into the chocolate almost. That's not gonna happen. Oh. Wait, just like I've got an idea. Off. And then, oh yeah, <laughs> that would work. That's the only the Oreo that the... No, I've got ice cream. Oh, you've got ice cream. Mmm. That's really nice. All right, what do you give it? Out of 10? Yeah. 9.3? 9.3. Okay, me. I've been really excited to try this. Yeah, that does not go with dessert. <laughs> I'm putting that aside. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. That, that's really good. I want to eat more. There's a bird in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got a worm. Can I excalibur it out? Yeah. Heave. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> <laughs> what do you give it? Oh. <laughs> Solid. Frozen. <laughs> okay. I give it... 9.4 because the worm was solid. No. <laughs> right, I'm going to have a go. I'm not going to worry about using a spoon. I'm just going to have a bite. No, you can't bite your ice cream. Mm. Don't bite your ice cream. Mm. You've got a frozen worm. You've got a frozen worm.